Ensuring our schools are a safe and secure environment for our students and staff is our number one priority at the Hemfield School District. And while it's important to engage in safety training, drills, and other preparedness exercises, we must also recognize the importance of prevention. Welcome to this edition of Two Minute Talks. I'm Mike Bermersky, Hemfield School District Superintendent. And joining me today is Bill Gleason, the District Safety and Security Supervisor, to talk about the importance of prevention measures as a critical piece to the district's overall safety and security plan. Welcome, Bill. Thank you. Bill, when it comes to having a health and safety plan and security plan for the district, it's important to have both proactive prevention measures as well as um, prepared drills uh, that we're practicing on a regular basis. Can you talk about uh, the importance of balancing between those two? Sure. The state requires us to do uh, safety drills, uh, security drills, fire drills. The state also requires us to look at vulnerability uh, risk assessments to be done on, on the buildings at different, uh, at different years. It also requires thre uh, threat assessment training and some proactive things, but normally when we look at school safety, we're really looking at the target hardening and the preparing, and we need to mm -hmm. balance that out with the preventative model. And I know you are a champion uh, of the prevention measures. Um, so can you talk a little bit about why um, they're so important to have as part of a safety and security plan? Sure. Well, first of all, the, the preventative measures are based on facts and evidence. And the prepare respond, that's based on emotional. Uh, so when we have something catastrophic happen at one of our buildings in the United States with, where, where there's kids, we immediately have that strong emotional response and we need to see something being done, something we can wrap our hands around. So we automatically go to target hardening. But we really have to look at our, pro, our, our protective measures and our prevention measures, one of them uh, being connectivity. Are our kids connected to their schools? Studies show that if a student is connected to a teacher and at least one other staff member, they're not going to do a violent act at school. So I think it's very important we have that preventative measure. And what do you think is important for parents and community members to know about the plan here at Hemfield? Well, that we do all of our safety drills that are required. We go above and beyond what we're supposed to, what we have to do for those, uh, for those drills. But we also are taking a better look at threat assessment models, how we can do a better job with that, how to expand the threat assessment, uh, work on building climate, because if we have a safe school climate, that's what stops the violence. Well, Bill, thank you for leading uh, our district safety and security team and all the work that you're doing to help keep our schools safe. And thank you for joining us for this two-minute talk. We'll see you next time.